Hey guys, so this week this is kind of going to be a sporadic video because I had to stop everything that I was doing to make this a family member of mine that I genuinely care a lot about. <laughs> I didn't know it was his birthday. I know that sounds kind of intuitive, but just bear with me here. So I had to drop everything and make him something just out of thin air in under 24 hours. So that's what this video is. So let's just kind of jump right on into it, okay? Cool. All right, so I had to come up with a concept and I knew he loved my thrifted penguins that I made from Batman Returns. So I took this image again and I took the Emperor Penguin and I decided I wanted to turn the rocket into a pen holder because I'm practical like that. So he could use it on his desk, you know? So I went ahead and used some Sculpey clay, which honestly was ridiculously old and so hard to work with. It took me about 45 minutes just to warm up this small amount of clay. So my fingers were hurting. But once I did that, I created the body out of the foil just to make sure it was lightweight. And I kept it, you know, typical oval, but I did make them a little thick in the back, if you will. But that's okay, penguins are a little thick. <laughs> so once I did that, I rolled out some clay and made it like a pancake, wrapped it around that body, and smoothed that sucker out best as I could, honestly. I'm not the best at this, but I did the best that I could. And then after that, I honestly wanted to make sure that the sucker would stand because it would be my luck that I wouldn't be able to. So I kind of created this iceberg looking thing, which honestly, looking at these images here, I kind of feel like, you know, it's close enough. You know, it's feeling cartoony, but that's okay. I added feet as well, which honestly really made this cartoony and kind of went down that route just because I didn't have a reference in front of me of what feet look like because I was being such a spaz that I was thinking it would take too much time to look at something because I'm a dork. But yeah, I made these kind of cartoony feet. I added some nails all over and just kind of made them a little bit more terrifying, I guess, but also kind of cute. So that way the actual bottom of the body would stick to the iceberg nice and flat. But honestly, I was still freaking terrified that this wasn't gonna actually stay all together, even though when it bakes, you know, it solidifies. So I kind of skewered the little sucker there on both ends just to kind of make sure, really emphasize that I wanted a good structural base. So after that, I went ahead and just kind of, you know, I made a typical head, I made a sphere, and then I added a little triangle on there for the beak and just kind of smushed that little dude in there. Once that was done, I added the eyes and I do have them kind of far apart on the head. They definitely don't look bad at all, but if you look at an actual penguin, they're a little bit more farther on the head than, than what I did. So but honestly, it doesn't even really matter because I'm gonna accessorize, as you can see by me putting a freaking wire straight through his pupil. So you'll get more details on that in a sec. But after I did that, I also added wires into his back because I needed to make sure it was structurally sound for where I was gonna actually put kind of like the pen holders. This is where the rocket would go but I needed to make sure that the pen, each time it goes in, it wouldn't destroy it. So as you can see, I'm about to throw him in the oven. He's pretty bare, he's naked. And you're gonna hate me for this, honestly, but he comes out of the oven with all of his armor. So I'm sorry that I was unable to actually film that bit, but I was crunched for time, babe. Like I literally had no time. I was stressing. This is maybe a couple hours before I actually went to the party and I saw the paint the entire thing, so. Don't at me. But anyways, when I started painting, I started with the white and the yellow and the orange, kind of just your generic base lighter colors because I was, I figured honestly, it's gonna be easier to do it this way and then just do a real clean edge with the black. Other, otherwise, if I did the black first, it would be so hard if I screwed up to get those colors to actually cover black, so. It's just what I did. I think it worked, but honestly, these these paints too. Yellow's notorious for this. It took so many flipping layers to do it. But yeah, as you can see, black's all done. Base is good, and now I'm moving on to all the metal bits. So I used silver, which this honestly was a really crappy. I think it's Craft Smart. It's Michael's brand. It's their silver acrylic paint, and this took a god-awful amount of coats and I still feel like it was kind of streaky if I'm being honest but yeah I'm touching all these bits these hoops that you see it's for the pen so this is where the pen's actually gonna sit into and it's still at an angle to where the pen's actually gonna look like a torpedo 
if you will. So I'm pretty proud of it. I kind of had to come up with it in the moment. I didn't think it all the way through when I first came up with the concept. So it worked though, so that's exciting. Now with the detailed stuff, I added like the little machine gun ammunition on the side, but I never had a reference. I think I did a decent job though. So I'll take it. I mean, he's still definitely cartoony like we mentioned before, but hey, he's fun. But yeah, I went ahead and added some more metal to the gun as well, but I added gray just so there's a little bit of differentiation. But yeah, it still all works together, I think. Now this red bit, the little top of the dot of the camera, that's just, you know, a little recording light, if you will. So I did that and then I added on this green because I'm trying to go for almost like like a night vision goggle look, if you will. <laughs> so I think it came out cool. It's definitely, it, it was hard working on such a small surface. So those lines are not perfect, but that's okay. And then the glass here, I just added some shiny bits just to give a little emphasis that it was glass. And that was it. I had to go ahead and varnish it. So I made the bird and everything matte and then the, the goggles and the camera I made shiny. So quick little blow dry, it's time for the reveal. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this. I, like I mentioned, I had to do it out of the middle of nowhere. So uh, I didn't really have a concept, just kind of working on the fly. But I do think it came out cool, very cartoony, very fun, very one of a kind, no one else will have this, so. And my family member ended up really liking it, so I'm very happy, I'm glad that I made him smile. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, please think about subscribing or maybe even just giving a like, really appreciate it. Um, I will hopefully see you guys next week, but I do have a bunch of interviews, so that may be a no-go. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and yeah, I'll catch you later. Bye.